guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I'm being still inspired by my daughter's student ambassador trip that she took to Europe, and this is another layout that I'm doing that's inspired by that, and this was her Holland when she went to Holland and she went to Rotterdam Holland and she came back with a wooden shoe which was a, a pair of wooden shoes I should say and they were a real bright blue like this and they were beautifully painted and everything and then my Holland title which is a Polaroid frame was just by itself there was no shoe in here this was to put a picture in but what I did was found the wooden shoe and then I welded it to my frame so the title the Polaroid title for Holland comes from the Cricut Destinations cartridge and it is cut at 5.67 by 5.66. The shoe actually comes from the Folk Art Festival cartridge and I didn't measure that size of it because I welded the back layer of the shoe onto the frame and you can see that I did that on the back it's all welded in one piece so it's whatever fits in the frame is the size of the shoe there so let me get some adhesive on the back of this frame and we'll get this laid down she loved Holland with the exception of a giant escalator and at the time she was terrified of escalators and it was the only way to get to one area that they were going to and they had to go up this giant escalator this is so it was cute really cute to hear her talk about it And because my daughter is a type 1 diabetic and was a type 1 diabetic when she went on this trip, I was actually permitted to call her every night. And I felt special <laughs> because you were told you were only allowed to call your child once a week. <laughs> we had a full itinerary, of course, of where they were and where they were staying and the numbers to call to get a hold of them. But I got to call mine every night. So that was even better. And this is my photo mat. It's on a dark green on a light pink. It's cut at four and a half by four and a half for the dark green. And the light pink is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I forgot to say, my dark green background piece of cardstock is 12 inches. And then this brown color is actually a paper, not a cardstock, and it's at 11 and a half by 11 and a half. Sorry, I was jumping ahead of myself there. Then I cut out this water from this pretty dark bright blue that matches the shoe and this water wave it comes from the paper dolls for everyday Cricut cartridge it's at 11 and a half by 2.42 inches and I'm going to pop this down because she was in Rotterdam Holland they got to see and visit the biggest sh uh, shipping port in the world, I believe. I believe it's in the world. If I'm wrong, you guys can correct me on that. And she thought it was pretty cool. So my next image is a big ship. My ship comes from the Pack Your Bags cartridge. It's cut at 2.28 inches wide by 7.53 inches high. Now, the wave, the water wave, came attached to it, and I actually took it away and resized it just to make the water wave alone 11 and a half inches wide. So that's what I did there. Now, on my little uh, steamship here, I did do some doodling with my black glaze pen around the top of the ship and around the, the little portholes in the windows of it with my black glaze pen and then just 
dotted around the corners and then on the steam pipes I went around it with my white jelly roll pen. So I'm going to lay this down flat as well. Ah. I knew my ATG gun was being too good. I knew it was time for it to do that. There's a lot of layers to this, so I do a lot of tape, but I do a lot of tape anyway. You guys know that. If you watch me, you know I'm a, I over glue. <laughs> but my steam is going to come over my photo mat here a little bit, so I didn't put any adhesive on it. Because what I'm just going to do is just find the loose pieces and put a little put a little bit of wet glue on those and I always use the Ranger multimedia mat and when I don't have that I use the green bottle of Tombow okay makes it good to go there and stick a photo down there really easy pick up my leftover adhesive there and then on this water wave I did do faux stitching it with my white jelly roll pin all around it as well and I'm gonna lay it right about there and I'm gonna lay it down flat too <clears throat> I was trying to decide if I was gonna do it on uh, foam adhesive tape or not. That's the reason I didn't have it already laid down on my ship image. And every time I look at it, I decide that I don't need it raised. like that. I think it's coming together quite well. So that is the left side of this two by uh, two page 12 by 12 layout. <laughs> so let me move this one over and out of the way and I'll bring in my second page and it's the exact same way. Dark green cardstock that's 12 by 12 the brown uh, paper that is 11 and a half by 11 and a half and it's like brushed so it's got dimension or, or texture to it so what I have here is a windmill and I love the windmill she loved the Sydney that's my daughter's name Sydney she loved the windmills this windmill comes from the uh, folk art festival cricket cartridge it's cut at 5.46 by 6.61 inches and it's three layers of paper piecing and my white layer here cream layer is a glimmer paper I don't know if my camera's picking up that glimmer but oh my goodness it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna lay this down flat too and this is some really heavy cardstock all of these layers on this windmill are extremely heavy cardstock so and I'm going to put it up here in the top right hand corner of my layout. You got to have a windmill when you go to Holland, right? <laughs> so that's what I've got there. And then my next layer 
is a piece of grass and my grass is at 11 and a half inches by two two and a half inches and it comes from the spring seasonal cartridge and I'm going to put a line of adhesive right there I want, I'm going to line it up right at the bottom of my windmill put it right there and then I have two more four by four by four and a half by four and a half uh, photo mats. The dark green is four and a half. The light pink is four and a quarter. So this two-page layout will hold three uh, four by four photos. I'm going to put this one right down here. looks pretty even and I'll put that one right there. Now the next thing I have cut out is some bunches of tulips. My tulips come from the spring cottage Cricut cartridge and I've cut out four of those <clears throat> and they are cut at 2.93 inches wide by 3.53 inches high. Now some of these I'm going to tuck behind my grass and some I'm going to have on the top of my grass. So I'm going to tuck this one behind, put it right there. Here, we'll just line them up and go in order. <laughs> so I can get some adhesive On these pop that one on top this one I'm gonna pop behind the grass in front of my little windmill then I'll pop that one on top of my grass <clears throat> I'm going to put it right there don't you love tulips? I love tulips. <laughs> Obviously, Holland is the biggest exporter of tulips, so that's why those are there. My daughter just couldn't believe the tulips. <laughs> she thought they were amazing. And then I did some print and cut of these cute little bees, and I used Wink Costella all over them. And what you're seeing there is the tape that I put them on. And that was from my little Xyron X sticker maker. These little bees come from the Art Nouveau Cricut cartridge. And they are cut at one and a quarter by 1.42 inches. And I cut a lot more than five because they were so intricate. See? Tons, tons, tons. <laughs> so, but I did that so I could have a good selection to work with. And then I can also use them on another project someday. So I'm going to put one right there. She didn't talk, my daughter didn't talk about bees or seeing them when she was in Holland. But I think if there's that many flowers, there's got to be bees. They have to be pollinated somehow. <laughs> and I like to think it's not artificially, but it's done naturally with the gorgeous bees. I love bees. So I'm just randomly placing them on my little layout. 
and then my last one. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there or not. And you can see how intricate they are with those teeny little legs and tentacles. And Cricut cut it pretty well. It could have done better. It could have done a lot better. But I'm pleased with the way that it cut. And I think it would have done better if I had put it on um, a new mat instead of an old mat that I use because when I do my cuts for my layouts I have four mats always lined up and ready to go and and my four mats I've used quite a bit this time so it's time to clean those and pull out four more so this is my two page Holland layout so I hope this inspires you guys and I think it came out pretty adorable. So thanks for watching. Cheers.